Yay, welcome to goal setting unicorn style. And in today's call, we are going to go through a process that helps me to create things faster. So I thought you would like to play with it too. And frankly, I don't really like goal setting. So I feel like that to me calls in this energy of, you know, push, heaviness, comparison, efforting, and that's not really sustainable for me or probably for most of us. And so I found that if I can use different consciousness tools to support me in creating more ease, I get more ease. So this is really powerful. And I would invite you today to consider what it is that you're wanting to create. And we'll use that in today's process. And keep in mind that you can come back to this over and over and over again. For me, I like to consider what I'm creating for the week. Sometimes it's for the day. Sometimes it's for the month. Sometimes it's for the year. You can use it for whatever duration, but the same process can be used over and over again. And fun fact, I added into this video the magic and miracle medicine of when you watch this, your creations happen faster. So how fun is that? So just knowing when I watch this video, things create even faster for me. Watching this video creates my manifestation faster and that's really fun. So to begin, you could pull out your journal I do think it's very helpful to write down what it is you're asking for. We'll start with what you know right now, because sometimes this process actually informs us and gives us even more information about what we could ask for even beyond that. So I've had many cases where I've been asking for something, and then when I really tapped into it and allowed myself to become that, that I noticed that there was another level of it. So that may not make sense now, but when we do the process, um, you'll see what, what shows up for you. So that's the other thing. This process is accessing your magic, your um, imagination, which the imagination is the translator of the soul of your desires. It's like the imagination is the way we access those desires. And what we know about desires is that they are the creative consciousness, the one creative consciousness being expressed through you. So your desires are your desires. And there's no room when you know that, when you know that the creative consciousness expressed through you is your desire, I like to say that that awareness of the desire is the manifestation. So when you have the awareness of the desire is the manifestation, then it's already here. And the more we can step into that frequency, then the, the you know, you can have nearly instant manifestations occur in your life. Um, it's just when we're wavering and going back into doubt or fear or, you know, trying to like use our mind to piece together all the pieces and really kind of overthinking what is actually not something that our mind can do because when we're creating something new and, and greater than ever before, there's just nothing to reference in our minds. There may be like little like pieces that you've seen in other things, but really, 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 our mind is not the um, tool for it. So in our process today, we get to activate our real power, our source, our imagination, our um, awareness in a whole new way. So take a moment 
to get comfortable in your seat. You can close your eyes during this process. My eyes will probably be closed and open, closed and open, just as I am guiding you all through this. Um, did I say that watching this video alone will make things happen faster? So just watching this video will make this happen faster is the magic here. So go ahead and get comfortable in your seat, close your eyes and consider what it is you are asking for. If you've written it down in your journal, you may take a look at those words and then come into your body and clo close your eyes to sense and perceive where that is in your being. So using your awareness to notice where your creation is living right now. So it may be the whole of you. It may be sensed as an energy. It may be sensed as space. It may be an image that pops up that you can name. Or it may be just sort of a color or quality. Just begin to just notice what is showing up for you for your ask right now. And as you're present with it, as you're present with how this is showing up through your imagination, you begin to notice even more details about it. And I invite you to move into it. Whatever that means for you, keeping in mind that there's no wrong or right here, there's no way to do it more right or even do it wrong. So just following what you are sensing and perceiving for you, but as best you can become that space, move into it, step into it, zoom into it, let it become you. But you become it. Maybe that's more accurate. So as you are experiencing that, experiencing being that ask, being what it is you've been asking for. Is it more money? Is it a new job? Is it a car? Is it something else? And your asks may even show up kind of surprising. It may be different than you would expect. If you're asking for a pile of money, it may show up as an energy. If you're asking for a new car, it may show up as an image of something in nature. It could be anything. So as you're being this, just noticing what it's like and saying hello to being the manifestation of that which you're asking for. And then noticing from here. What do you notice is that next space, that beyond this space? What is that even greater of this? It may be this, but it may be even more. What's that kind of stretch goal energy for you? The next level, that beyond, and it may not have an image or a quality. It may not even have words, but it may. So noticing what that next level is and allowing that to come into your world becoming that, adding that in, letting the next level beyond contribute to where you were, noticing what that's like, noticing how it feels and begin to sense that and even speak in your mind, wow, what it's like to have this, what it's like to be this. What I know about this. Just noticing that next level beyond. 
And then inviting from this space, just knowing that your deepest desires are meant for you. Just inviting the energy of the universe from galaxies and galaxies away. It's just imagining going out as far, 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 far as you can and just inviting the energy to pull in from all directions. So as the energy pulls in from all directions, it comes through you as your desire here and now. And it's nourished by it. It's nourished by all of the elements and particles and cosmos and beings and entities and colors and people and communities, everything that wants to contribute to this from the really kind of unknown spaces, the invisible spaces to the, to the spaces near you, to friends, to communities, to family, to computers, to phones, <laughs> all of the things that are near you that want to contribute to it too. And you don't need to figure this out. Just be aware of what you're sensing. It may even include plants and trees and sunshine because everything in your life is included when you are creating more. It's not business is separate than your life. It's not that your love relationship is separate than your work. Like everything gets to contribute to each other. There's nothing separate. And just as the energy moves through and contributes to it, noticing the cycle of this. So coming into your desire, in through your body, and then trickling out into the world where you having that desire, you honoring that desire is the gift that the entire world is asking for. So noticing how good it feels to know that by you taking a moment here to honor your desire and ask for it and even expand into a greater version of it, that that is already changing the world. And in this space, just feeling the gratitude of that feels so good to know this now. I'm so happy to have this. I'm so grateful for all that is contributing to my life in this moment. And from here, just allowing yourself to have those feelings, those energies of gratitude flowing. And then noticing what actually wants to happen from here. So from the space of being your greatest desire, letting consciousness gift you the next steps. You may even be aware of people that are popping into your consciousness that you want to contact. You may be aware of a step you'd like to take. You may be aware of organizing your office in a different way, or taking the dog for a walk. Anything that is popping in is part of your creation. So getting the inspirations, the steps from here. Honoring that you are the source of your creation, that you taking action from this space is co-creating with the universe. And with each breath, receiving more. With each breath, allowing the space to contribute to you, to provide for you. The steps. 
the people, the communities. What do you know about this right now? And you can gently come from this space if you want to take some notes on this, maybe describing your ask in that bigger version, almost like a stretch goal version. You have your original ask that you came into the exercise with, and then that next level that you may just be claiming 100% at this point, and just noticing what notes you can make right now. Start listing out some steps that you can take and make the choice to gift yourself taking those actions and then coming back to this on another day to do another ask and continuing this. So I cannot wait to hear what this was like for you. And I can't wait to hear your success stories. And thank you for being here. Know that watching this video already is helping you manifest faster. And I'm so excited that you're here.